Shamari, and then Caroline. What will be your top three priorities for District 2 if elected? Just spoke of one of them. The thing that I would do day one is walk down the hall to Congresswoman Terry Sewell's office and co-sponsor the Medicaid expansion bill to again open up the reimbursement period, or the reimbursement incentives rather for the state of Alabama to do what 40 plus others in America have already done and that is expand health care here. Because if Medicaid had been ex expanded, that hospital in Union Springs would still be open. And Thomasville would still be open. Grove Hill still open. Monroe County's Monday Ward would likely still be there. That's priority number one. Priority two is making sure that we continue to make the investments across this district, bring the jobs here to this district. Mobile was just recently the benefit of the largest infrastructure project, uh, federal grant for an infrastructure project in the state's history, in the history of this state. That is a project that is going to change in Mobile. That is a project that is going to create jobs and economic opportunity, but it's also a project that would not have been there if Monet had been in Washington because she would have joined every other Republican in the delegation who voted against the funding that is, that is now coming to Mobile for that project. Even though they all were there to celebrate it, they all voted against it. So we in Washington that are going to fight for the infrastructure investments, that are going to fight for the infrastructure dollars. It takes money to do it and we need it. Uh, we need it in this district. Healthcare infrastructure investments. Third priority is making sure that we're doing everything that we can everything that we can to keep our community safe, make sure we are making the smart investments on the front end, investments in public education, investment in community-based programs to support our mayor, support our local communities, to reduce the risk of children going up and being on a pathway that's likely going to end up on, the, uh, on one side of a bad decision. We have to make our community safer and we have to uh, make a commitment uh, to investing in the future of our communities. Thank you, Caroline. Look, I'm not a Washington insider. I'll work with anyone and everyone to be, bring relief to the people of Alabama. First and foremost, we have got to get our economy back. We have got to curb inflation. We've got to create jobs. We've got government off our back. For hospitals to survive, for schools to flourish, we've got to have people in our rural communities, and they have got to be there because they've got to have jobs. And this administration, my opponent was part of, has been crushing American opportunity. They've been crushing American energy. They've been meeting regulations that have made it almost impossible for small businesses to continue to grow and flourish. Small business up so much of this district. And so I will fight to ensure we get our economy running again. Secondly, Part of the reason that we have a strain on so many of our local enemies is our border crisis. There's, without question, there, there is no dispute that our country has suffered due to the open border policies of the Biden administration. My opponent was part of Biden's transition team. He helped put policy in place. And whether it's the fentanyl crisis that impacted uh, nearly every community in this district, or whether it's to 10 million non-taxpayers here who are seeking our service, who are putting strains on our, our rural health care facilities, we have got to secure our border and come up with a meaning solution to immigration. Related to that, the third thing I would work on is the crime. We, we have witnessed an exponential crime throughout this district, including here in Montgomery. Part of that means coming up with better, better solutions for the mentally ill, also treating our law enforcement like the heroes they are and ensure they have adequate funding that they need.